What is happening, Planet Chinchilla subscribers, viewers, uh, fans in general? Um, today's quick video is going into the post that you are probably reading right now, which is how often you need to clean your chinchilla's cage. So let's go ahead and jump right into that, and I will take you guys over to her cage right now and kind of go over some of those basics for you. Here we go. All right, guys, this question got sparked on one of the comments in the blog um, about how often you need to clean these cages. Um, the answer is, I would say, at a bare minimum, twice a week. Um, at a, I would honestly go probably two to three times is what makes it easy. If you're at least willing to get the poop out of the cage when you're cleaning it often, that helps. Or if you potty train your chinchilla, that also helps. Um, only for urination, let me make that clear. You cannot make these guys poop um, in a pan. It just doesn't work. So in general, clean these as often as you can. Set a routine. Use the same days of the week if you have to. Um, this is fairly clean. I just cleaned this um, night before last night. As you can see, you don't got poop all over the place. It's fairly clean. Everything's good. The shelves are clear. But if you keep up with that, it becomes easier. I just keep as you can see, I have like this little station right here where I keep all of her cleaning stuff. It's just in these drawers. Um, it makes it really easy. By the way, the air duster is not for her. That's for something completely different. So I don't want you guys thinking I like air dust her while she's in the cage or anything nuts like that. Um, but yeah, the more often you do it, the easier it is in general. So just stay on top of it a couple times a week. Make sure you're changing out this fleece here. Um, wash this in cold water. I highly recommend using this fleece. It makes life so much easier. Um, I mean, you just throw it in the washer, cold water, boom, you're done. Do that, wipe your shelves. Um, you can use a little vinegar and water solution for those. And I just use a shop vacuum, guys, for like the poop pellets. Here, I'll show you here, I just keep it. It's basically the chinchilla dedicated shop vacuum. Just opening this door here for you guys, but it just sits right there. No big deal. Um, makes it really easy to go about it. If you do that, every time you clean it in the future, it's gonna take you know 10 minutes as opposed to a couple hour routine. Um, I just found that staying diligent with it is a much better approach. And in general, guys, I mean, they're gonna be happier if you're gonna keep the cage clean. It's just a better situation for them in general. So stay on top of it, it's not difficult. It's nothing to, you know, plan your entire day around. Just get it done and you're good to go. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell down below so you get notified when I make new videos. I've been saying this a lot recently in some of these other videos that this is going to be a new routine and publishing schedule of just having a video in all of these blog posts for the people who prefer to learn in this fashion about raising a chinchilla. So I appreciate you guys coming by, supporting the channel. Uh, the fleece liners in the cage. This is the cage I recommend, just so you guys know, is the Critter Nation 2. Um, the only complaint I've ever seen people have is the bars, which the bars are awesome, so I don't really know what problems they're having. But the fleece liners and everything else that I recommend for cleaning will be in this blog post. So just scan around until you see the links for those, um, and it'll redirect you easily so that you can take a look at all of that. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep those cages clean, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.